Hey guys, this is Crazy Kylo bringing you the Uncharted 2 Crushing Glitchless Guide for Chapter 17. This video will cover the general route along with the ideal movement and include anything you need to know in Chapter 17. So with that, let's get into it. Okay, so this is Chapter 11. You're just going to kind of make your way, follow Tenzin. At the very beginning here, your speed really doesn't matter. Just kind of keep up with him. You're just going to a point to where he's going to throw a rope and you kind of just need to, I believe you just need to be on this thing, like this little platform right here to trigger him to throw it. But this is about, if done correctly, around a nine minute chapter, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, kind of just depending on RNG. But this is a chapter that's unfortunately pretty easy to lose time. And it, it is also a very slow chapter just compared to the rest. But as soon as he clears the rope, he can jump here and you can follow him. And then to do this, you have to be careful. You can't actually die on this ladder if you try to rush this. As soon as he clears, press circle to get on it. And then what I do is I just kind of like tap down on the D-pad. Or not the D-pad, the analog stick. And you kind of just go one rung at a time. But you can do that to follow him so you don't go too fast. And then when you get to the bottom one, you can just drop. And you're pretty much just waiting... Like, you can't pass him here, so you need to just wait until he gets here. And you're just going to try to, at this point now, you're just going to try to hug him. So, quickly as you can. Like, you only need to jump once there. I accidentally pressed it twice. But, jump once, you'll get right in that. So, for this chapter, the fastest movement really is going to be jumping. And then, like, right here when you climb up. So... Uh, there's a cutscene here. Like, you'll climb up, I'll roll once, and then I'll spam circle. And it didn't. sometimes you can get a second roll in right before the ledge, and it will propel you forward. And, like, right as you land, you'll kind of land in this little cutscene here. So, it's it's a really small thing, but it's, it's better than just, like, walking or whatever, because you can't jump once you get in that area for whatever reason. And then you're going to come back up here, and we're going to wait. So again, speed doesn't matter too much, just kind of hover him. And then um, there is actually like a wall swing coming up. If you grab this like right as it's available, you can actually get in front of him, and you can make it. I'd, I'll see if I can show it. <laughs> well, I would have made it, but that... that that is also one thing that can happen in this chapter is if you jump at a bad angle at these rocks, you will sometimes just basically hit like an invisible wall and you'll do exactly what just happened to me. It happens at multiple points. I'll try to I'll try to point them out where they're at, but it's pretty much like any like rope swing like this. They can happen. It's really annoying, but you kind of want to just try to jump straight at the rope to avoid that. But you do need to come a little bit from you need to almost grab it a little bit to the left because that will allow you to like carry your momentum and stuff. Um, and then when you come off that, you can jump this way. What's the big hurry? But yeah, just, just with that rope swing, that's, that is like the only thing you can beat him. It's just really tough. And generally like, I, th I want to say if you're not too, f like if he's right behind you, I think he can actually push you off of it or something, or it, it looks really weird, but Generally, you're probably not going to make that. Your best just to wait for him. And then here, if you jump like last second, you can actually grab the very top. So you can do that. And then if you're doing this faster, I'm kind of stopping and explaining. But if you're doing this all in one go, you'll actually beat him here to the cutscene. So this, once you're hanging on the edge, spam X to get up, and then I hold left and hit circle, and you're just gonna kind of roll, and you're gonna get into this spot and just hold triangle. All right, I'll give you a boost. So we're gonna go first, and then he's just gonna transition, and then you're just gonna get in front of him, press triangle. And here, there's a little bit of tricky movement to do this fast. It's, it's honestly kind of weird. You, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure you cannot make this jump. Maybe you can. Yeah, you can't make that. Um, but 
you're gonna like jump and it's best to aim for like this ledge and then i press circle here and like i if you go neutral you can usually just grab this bottom one and then like from here you'll hold like it's kind of weird when you get to like here if you hold left you can actually make the jump to the like that lower ledge that's like it's about right there but you can make a couple like transition jumps so you don't have to like completely shimmy to get to that spot and then from here you're just gonna um you're gonna come up here don't don't do what i just did like when you climb up on this like right here like actually go to the wall and then press x that way you'll grab it like right away instead of kind of like dancing at that wall for a little bit and then here um we're trying to shimmy around this so you can actually like almost jump like you can jump a little bit more to the left and then this is kind of a random jump you can make like that's the ledge we're going to right there kind of like middle of the screen if you hold like as you're climbing this like kind of like a 45 degree angle down and left and just kind of mash x as you're moving like you can you can get this jump right here it can happen at pretty much the top to the very bottom kind of like you just saw it's it's kind of random if it happens or not and if it doesn't it's not a big deal like you'll climb down you'll drop down and then you'll just jump over here so it's like a two second time save maybe three and here you can jump and then just press triangle it's a little bit faster than rolling i think naturally i just end up pressing circle because i'm not thinking about it but jumping is slightly faster because you can go into you can go into that animation to trigger tenzin to jump faster if you're not rolling because you have to wait for the animation of rolling to finish and then here this is like the most notorious rope in the whole speed run so it's best to do it like as soon as he leaves to jump and then i'm not going to jump but you wait like it's about like a second or so as soon as you grab the rope if you wait too late you'll jump straight up and fall and if you go too early you won't have enough distance so i'm gonna fail this like i'm gonna jump at the peak so you can see like you just go up and then straight down um the nice thing is is if you do fail this you start right here but i want to show this because this is even more annoying is if you miss this this rope is super close to you now so i think if this happens you can just walk off the edge yeah and he'll grab it and then you just wait like half a second or so it's like it's not immediate but it's also not at the peak of his swing so it's kind of got to play with and then as soon as you come out of this you can grab this ledge and jump to the side here and then i roll through this so i was going to show that but um just because that is something that you kind of have to be ready for as soon as you can move with drake coming out of that little animation there or cutscene. But yeah, that, that rope is super annoying. But just know if you die, just walk into it. Otherwise, on like your first go around, jump into it. And then you saw like it was like a, about a half second wait, maybe maybe a little bit less. But from here, we're just going to kind of keep making our way. Jump. Just jump around that rock. That way you don't stumble or anything. And then here you can actually just make this jump it doesn't have to be an edge jump like that you can jump a little bit further back but but it's a it's not that bad of a jump and then here you can jump and i will say be cautious like you're just going to hold forward and jump but these rocks are really weird sometimes depending on how your camera is facing like right there you saw me correct it but like you'll be jumping and you won't be holding like you won't be controlling the camera these rocks can just shift your camera like really quickly so just kind of be careful you just want to jump forward but if you see that happen you might want to like slow down real fast to adjust it so you don't accidentally jump off the wall then here you're gonna grab that you're gonna jump and you're gonna grab that second one and you'll get about here and then like you're just gonna hold up left twice and you'll get to like either this one or the one just to my right and you'll hold up right and then you'll just hold up so it's kind of like the jump onto the rock then one two three four jumps essentially to get to the top so 
but you're pretty much just holding angles. You jump onto the rock, hold up left and jump, hold up left and jump, hold up right and jump, and then just hold up. And then when you come out of this, I hold left, like I don't even turn the camera and just jump at the edge and then turn the camera while you're in midair. And then you're just gonna jump over here to the gap. And then this just takes some getting used to, hold down and just start jumping. And you can kind of like turn the camera like mid jump. You don't have to like turn it all the way around. Just like every time you jump, slowly turn it. But you'll kind of just get a feel for like how to like jump and deal with not like jumping at the camera essentially. But you're working towards here. And then when you come up here, you're just going to make this jump across. And then this is a small little ledge shimmy. But if you just jump at the edge, you can make the jump. And then here you jump up and then you can make the jump from here, but it's a slower climb up. So I actually go to the top one and jump over. And then if you want to, if you jump here, like right, this is like as you're falling essentially. So like you're going to have a foot in midair and then you're going to jump. You can make that jump, but I always just come here and then I jump this way. If you miss that jump, you'll die and you'll lose more time, but it only saves like a second and a half. And then come down here, and then as soon as you land, I roll so you can grab this, and then just shoot this down, and then as soon as you're done shooting, immediately reload, because now we're going into the Yeti fight, and you're going to want full ammo. But as soon as you get control, we're going to start shooting at him. And to my knowledge, this fight is damage-based. That's what triggers his grabs. So I will shoot him. When he jumps on this, I will keep shooting until... You'll usually get a stagger, but you're going to keep shooting until he runs at you. And then you're just going to run away, and you're going to just keep aiming at him. If he stands still, you might be able to get a couple shots like that. But right now, this is like bad RNG. He's not grabbing me, and I've... There, now he grabbed me. So this is the only annoying thing about the fight, is you don't really get a control. Is he going to... Okay, I wasn't sure how this was going to work with me bleeding, but you don't really get to control... Like, if he's going to grab you or not. Like, it is damage-based, but the Yeti will just kind of do whatever he wants. So, sometimes you'll lose time. Like, you'll lose a good chunk of time because he's just screwing around. He'll jump on the rock. He'll punch you when he should be grabbing you. It's kind of just a dice roll, really. But other times, like, I've had a couple runs where he'll grab just, like, instantly. But as soon as you do this, like, I have one bullet. That made him stagger. Just keep shooting him. And then... Hopefully he doesn't jump on the rock. He probably will. Yeah, so this this you can see. This is really bad RNG. And then see if I can... Yeah. You kind of just want to make sure you're, like, tr always far enough away, like, running. That way he... When he does get to you, he doesn't consider punching. But it... Again, it's just RNG. Y you do have to do enough damage, which is why, like, at the very beginning, before he starts running at you, you just want to lay into him, because that's kind of what triggers it. But, yeah, that that's pretty much, like, I got the worst case RNG right there. Like, he swung at me twice the first time, and then the second the second time, for, or before the second grab, essentially, he just didn't do anything. He jumped on the rock, but as soon as you can move, start shooting and make your way this way. And then... It usually be tens in here. Uh, that's the biggest RNG factor of this is the Yeti fight. It it doesn't generally go that bad, but I'm kind of glad that it, it went that bad just so you can see like what worst case scenario looks. And then back up and wait for this. That way you can actually die if you're standing under that. And then here is kind of RNG. I run around to the right, but you kind of have to just see what he's doing. But you can run past him. And you just want to keep running, gunning. You'll go over the ladder, and then you'll jump like how I did. But sometimes Tenzin will run, and if he does, you're going to have to just wait for him. He'll jump on the ledge, and you will probably want to wait like a second until he's kind of pulling himself up before you make the jump, because it's he takes up a lot of space on this ledge. But you'll jump here, and then... Yeah, he, he pretty much jumped where I was. And then again, you'll shoot this like pretty much as you get up. And then again, this is one of those spots where if you... If you jump too early, like right here, you'll just bonk against the wall and die. So kind of make sure you're jumping like at the rope, essentially. And then um, I actually jumped too early, so I jump. I got like a low, a low grab. But that's also something is you have to do this again every time you die. So I'll come a little bit more over here and then jump at like the peak. 
And then one thing I just found out is you can actually make this jump. So I'm going to see if... I'm, I'm honestly not sure how this happened, but you can actually, like, grab this ledge right here. So, um, but if not, it's not a big deal. Just do what I did, like, and see if I can not die here. Okay, I can't. Well, let me drop from here. But, like, run up on here. That way you don't, like, have to spend a little bit extra time climbing. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's what I was trying to show. So... If you're, like, you're pretty much just running at this and you're going to press, press X to the left of this. So, that's what that's what the grab up is. So, that's it's kind of nice because it saves a little bit of climbing. I, I just recently figured this out and it was kind of by accident. But, um, round the corner and then you can make this transition jump up. And then you'll come up here. Just kind of keep following this path. And then try to aim for this ledge when you jump. So you'll climb up to it, and then you can just jump up to the side here, so you don't have to do all this extra climbing. And then as soon as you, like, turn the corner, so, like, round the corner like that, you can just press circle once, and you'll land on the edge here. And you'll just press up left to make sure you don't fall off, and then you're just going to run and gun. And then uh, you can't see it because I'm in campaign, but it's about, like, right here. Like, you can see it now because we're chapter 18. But what I do is you'll look at the timer at the top, and when the timer hits zero, like, it goes from nine minutes or whatever to just zero. You know you're in the next chapter. When you do that, you're going to RC. And what that's going to do is it's going to move you forward a good chunk of space, but it's also going to move Tenzin forward so you don't have to wait for him. So that's pretty much the trick coming at the very end of the chapter, going like transitioning to the next. But that was chapter 17. So that's it for the chapter 17 tutorial. The rest of the video will be a speedrun of the chapter to see everything put together along with all my inputs. Hopefully that helps, and with that, I'll see you guys in the next chapter tutorial. Oh man, no way we're getting across there. What you got there? What? Yeah, good luck, pal. That's almost impossible to. Oh, you did it. Nice. Sure, let's just swing across on the 70 year old rope. You need two shots. Hope you know where you're going, buddy. Oh, did you do it? Oh, jeez. Looks like we're on the right track. But now we're here. This can't be what should be it. I do to Gunari at the new door. In that door. Oh, that way. Sure. Those things bite, you know. What's the big hurry? Hello? These are snow boots, not track shoes. What'd you find here? 
Lord, you share so that you remember. Okay. Been dead a long time. Yeah. Baba. The Chintamani stone. Must have been one of Shaper's men. Wait, wait. What? Go on, go on, go on. Catch you. What's the matter? I got you. There you go. You owe me one, pal. Look at him. Ten muscle, not yet. What the hell was that? Give me muscle, muscle. Holy shit! You should run. What did this? Yeah. This? What did this? Yeah, come on. Tenzin, we gotta get moving. All right, just stay here. Here. Wait. Schaefer says hello.
was that thing? You had love for a good pizza to bed. Come here. I'll boost you up there. Stop. 